Joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline is John Morris, the voice of the Baylor Bears. John, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Spencer, Jerem, good to be on with you guys. How you doing today? We are fantastic. Despite Jerem's bad April Fool's Day <laughs> joke off the top of the show, we're going back to what happened yesterday. News that BYU and Baylor are going to play for the first time since 1984 is certainly welcome on the BYU side. We want to know, what's the reaction from Baylor in Waco about this series announcement? Well, I think very excited about it. I, I think it's a great matchup. I personally look forward to it. I remember those two games uh, in 83 here in Waco, which was a great Baylor win, and then 84, obviously a great season for BYU, and uh, they started it off, the Cougar Cougars did, with that win over Baylor. So those were two great games, and I look forward to these two, even though they're just a few years down the road. John, the dynamic of uh, Baylor's strength of schedule has been a national topic, especially with, you know, getting into the playoff or not. So what does this say about the aspirations of Baylor trying to schedule BYU now with Utah and Duke in the future? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't heard anybody <laughs> about our strength of schedule. <laughs> so you have to enlighten me about that. <laughs> no, I, I think Coach Bryles, uh, uh, you know, his philosophy here is that the Big 12 is tough enough, you know, and we play, obviously you guys know, we play everybody in the league, so you've got nine games against conference opponents, and so he doesn't want to get beat up any more than that in non-conference, and, it, you know, to be honest, it's worked pretty well. Baylor didn't make the playoff the first year, finished number five, and uh, possibly the strength of schedule affected that, but I think the one loss really affected us uh, two years ago with not making the playoff. And then last year, just 10-3, and three, and you're not going to make the playoff doing that. So I think this uh, says that Baylor is willing to step up the non-conference schedule, and uh, that shows in future schedules. And adding a team like BYU you know, shows that, uh, you know, uh, bring it on, I guess. Uh, not not uh, afraid to play some really uh, heavyweights in non-conference. Conference. Follow him at Voice of Bears John Morris. 29 years broadcasting Baylor football as the Bears announce a series with BYU beginning in 2021. There was this weird moment yesterday when Brett McMurphy of ESPN talked to a Big 12 official and learned that, well, for the Baylor series specifically, BYU will count as a Power 5 equivalent, but not necessarily for the rest of the conference right now. What do you make of all of that? Yeah, I don't understand that. You know, I guess the way it's written technically is Power 5 Conference or Notre Dame, and I don't know why BYU wouldn't fit into that category either. So, you will you know, that's above my pay grade. You have to ask somebody else about that because I think BYU certainly would fit in with any opponent that Baylor would play in a Power 5 Conference. What's the perception of BYU in Waco and the surrounding area? Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk, and maybe you guys have heard about this, about BYU, a potential Big 12 member what? down the road. And uh, everybody, see, uh, you know, that's kind of a like, oh, yeah, that would be great. So I think now with the scheduling of the home and home, or if you prefer a home and road, Baylor and <laughs> BYU, uh, I think everybody says, yeah, that's great. So I think, uh, you know, BYU has uh, such a great reputation uh, athletically, academically, everything, that I, fit, uh, I think it fits right in with Baylor uh, and Baylor's philosophy here in Waco as well. Is Baylor pro-expansion? Again, that's above my pay grade. But what about you, John? I <laughs> I think um, whatever's best for the Big 12 is what Baylor would be for. I'm just not sure what the two teams, if you added two to get from 10 to 12, what are the two teams that make sense? Uh, in my mind, and this is just me speaking, BYU is one of those that make sense for expansion that would bring value to the Big 12, quality value that matches you know, the 10 teams that are already here. But, again, that's, uh, that's not my call. That's for smarter guys than I to, to uh, make that call. But, I would welcome it for sure. The Baylor Bears have made this rapid ascent to the top, I don't know, echelon of college football, mm -hmm. if you will. I mean, it's it happened so fast, and now it's like, whoa, the fact that BYU scheduled Baylor is really exciting for BYU fans. That wouldn't have been the case a decade ago. What happened for Baylor turning around this program and becoming, becoming a serious power? 
Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, almost as simple as getting the right guys in place, meaning uh, our a- athletic administration with our athletic director, Ian McCall, and him making the hire of Art Bryles. And Art Bryles, this is uh, his ninth year coming up. He's just done amazing things here with the Baylor program. I mean, we've had a Heisman Trophy winner in Robert Griffin. We've got a new stadium you guys are going to love. It sits on the Brazos River here. And, and recruiting is just, you know, through the roof and better than it's ever been. So really – just getting the right people in place like Coach Bryles and his staff has made all the difference in the world. And uh, and some people thought, you know, Baylor might be, you know, might jump up and have that great 2011 season with Robert Griffin. But what do you do following that up? Well, they followed up pretty well, you know, and uh, been Big 12 champs 13 and 14 and uh, six straight bowl games. So it's been, you know, not just reaching a, a level uh, of success, but then maintaining Maintaining that has been really great under Coach Bryles. The tempo is ridiculously fast when you watch Baylor's offense. So how do you give your chance, your analyst, a chance <laughs> to talk in the broadcast on offense? You know, he is very concise, and he's very good at it. His name is J.J. Joe, and he's a former quarterback, and he knows there's not much time to jump in there, but he does a very good job of it. And along those lines, I, I can imagine this, uh, this uh, you know, meteoric rise has been fun for you, too, because you've covered Baylor for a long time, but the, you're not the doormat anymore. You're, you're a player in the Big 12, so what's that been like for you personally? Well, no question. It's been great for everybody. You know, our fans have been very loyal through the years, and to see them rewarded is great. And now we've got this uh, great new stadium on the Brazos River, which is really fun. And it's not just football either. I mean, all of our sports are at a very high level. We've got great head coaches in place here. So it's, uh, you know, personally speaking, it's it's always more fun to win than to come up on the short end. But it, it really is fun for everybody around here. John Morris, the voice of the Baylor Bears with us on BYU Sports Nation. You are an experienced guy when it comes to broadcasting. We noticed that you have done play-by-play for equestrian. <laughs> how, how in the world do you prepare for that? Well, let me tell you, the pace is uh, not quite the pace in equestrian compared to Baylor football, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and we host we host here in Waco for this will be the 10th consecutive year coming up uh, later this month. Baylor hosts the national championships in equestrian. We've got a great facility here and great uh, cooperation with the city and the county, and it's just a great location to host the equestrian national championships. So uh, I try to – it's one of two things, guys. It's either I uh, try to be well rounded or they're trying to find something that I can do well and they're still looking so I'm not sure which one of those it is <laughs> John I'm composing a tweet right now to the Big 12 and Bob Bowlesby that says uh, John Morris thinks BYU should be in the Big 12 are you cool with that <laughs> did, did I say it's above my pay grade it's not my call <laughs> I think twice yeah I would welcome it though I think it'd be great Awesome. John, we appreciate the time and the insight into what's going on in Waco and this future BYU Baylor football series thanks for the time You guys are great to have me on. Uh, Respect the heck out of Greg Rubel. Tell him hello for me. You got it, man. John Morris on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future.